Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mesra Automation Channel. Today in this video, I'm going to demonstrate about a data provider using a JSON file. In the last session, we have seen about a simple demonstration of data provider and inherited way of data provider. So in case if you are absolutely new for data provider, please do check my previous session where we have discussed a data provider in deeper. In this session, we're going to see mainly on JSON file. So I have taken a JSON file into the data in the same project where we are discussing in the last uh, session. So in the data, I just created one JSON file. So this is a simple JSON file that I am using in this. So this is the array. This array contains one uh, user login and that user login contains another array. So that array of uh, username password of multiple combinations. So you can add uh, more combinations as well. So this is the data that I have and I'm going to simply create a new file in the demo data provider package. So that class file is JSON file demo. So I'm going to use this for creating the JSON, I mean JSON parsing using a data provider and also the use the same test into the test annotation of test ng so let's create a data provider so we know data provider annotation right so that is data provider data provider and we need to name this as name equals this should be json parsing so I'm just mentioning this data provider JSON parsing and uh, I'm gonna use this signature as public string so we're gonna use the strings here as uh, all the combinations of the array in the JSON is in string string array and uh, we need to name this file as JSON reader or JSON read So I'm going to start a new line. So we're going to break down this into a three parts where we're going to parse first and then read the file and then we sort it. So parsing is how you read the file with the JSON parser and how you read that JSON parser via file system and then you do a sorting. So to do all these actions, we need a one dependency which is called as a json simple i will mention in this in the description which is uh, and also you can find the same kind of uh, dependency in the mvn repository so this is the repository json dependency that you need to use json simple i will mention this in the description don't worry on that so now we're gonna first we need to do the parsing so i'm just say parsing parsing the file right so to parse that we need to first call json parser so this is a json parser and uh, we need to create one object reference for this so object creation is done so as part of this and then we're gonna start reading our file so where is our file so to get that file we have to use the file system so file reader so in the eclipse we have this beautiful uh, easy way of uh, getting the suggestions using a control space you can types uh, half of the content that you are trying to do and do a control space so this file reader i'm gonna create a new object for this so i'm say file reader and file so this file we need to get the path so this is the file i have so for now what i will do i will go to right click and properties and i will copy this so i'm just copying the absolute path to complete this demo right now we got a json parser then we got a file reader and we have to use that json parser and create an object so object you know right this is the parent of all objects and i'm going to use that object now object obj equals json parser 
so json parser we have created right so i'm gonna use that json parser in using the object reference and dot parse so parse what i need to do i need to read file so file we have handled using the file system right so file reader so we're gonna pass the same object instance of that so which is a reader and then followed by so this will this line is i mean this file reads the json file so it will ask you to throw some exceptions so you can do a parent one or you can directly use the respective exception so file not found exception and here we have a parser so you can use that in case if you have multiple throws then you can use the exception as a parent then you no need to specify all this right so this is done and after that we need to create a json object so we have done with the parsing and we need to again now call the json object so json object will help us to hold the data of that file so file which is having a json data right so that is one so json object equals and then we are doing a typecast here so type casting to json object and here i'm gonna pass the object reference so we're gonna typecast from object to the json object and then we're gonna use the json array to hold that entire array which is in the uh, json file and we're gonna name that as array and again we're gonna typecast that json array or json object so json object json object of that and uh, we're gonna simply call uh, json object i think this is not json object we have to use a json object reference but we have to use a json object array here so that's what it confused here so json object json object dot so what we need to do here json object so from that we got the json entire json file object and we are trying to get the array from it and that array so wherever the array starts in the json file uh, if i go back to my json file so this json file having an array array where we have that array under the user login so we have to copy that user login or the naming that array and we are gonna go here using that json object reference we got the entire file reference to my json object and under that i am gonna use the array so that array i am gonna use via get right we got the entire array from that json array i mean entire json object so now we got that and we got a json array and we got that entire structure and now we're gonna start using a string here so why we need to use a string so entire uh, i mean entire object is having some key value piece right so to control all that we have to use the looping here so for that i'm gonna use string so string i'm gonna say this as array or i can just say arr a short form and then i'm gonna create a new string object here string and this string i'm gonna mention so i'm gonna call the json object array so json array we have right so in the line number 25 we have array which is holding the entire user details so i'm gonna call that here now so array so array dot what is the size of that array we got the entire uh, object right so we're gonna simply call array dot size right and end with semicolon now we got that array we went to that array and we are trying to get the size of it so why we are need to, why we need to get that size because now we are starting a looping here so looping via for loop and for int i equals zero as array starts from zero so i'm gonna take the array array as zero and then we got array dot size and then i plus plus and we're gonna start looping 
so under that what we need to use so first thing we have to use or call the json object or create a json object under that loop looping so after that i will say this as users users equals again typecast so typecast from json object to array so json object to array so again we have using the arrays here so in the line number 25 we have that array reference right i'm gonna take that array reference dot get so i'm gonna get and this get i gonna pass the for loop i so i gonna iterate here now so almost we have done so now the main part is so how you gonna call that or how you you gonna name them so i'm gonna using this uh, username string username equals and here i'm gonna say this as string type right string so i'm gonna use a json object users users dot uh, get so what is that object reference so object what is that object is username so here in this file i have username so i'm gonna call that here and end with semicolon and we're gonna do the same thing again so we're gonna just simply copy this line and go to the new line and name this as password right and this is the password so this is a name key value pairs right now we got it and after that we're gonna name this as array array of i and we're gonna hold the username and password so we just named here right this username username plus separated by comma so we're gonna print this individually and also combined and this password here and with semicolon now as it's a data provider we have to send some return type return so what we're gonna return here we're gonna return this error or array one array so now we got the parsing here and we're gonna uh, created a file system here and then object creation then looping that via for loop now i'm gonna simply create a test ng method here so test ng and in the test ng what we need to do we have to call data provider right so we say that and data provider data provider what is that data provider name so this is a data provider name i'm gonna call this here and then followed by public void i'm just say that is as reader just for name naming then what we need to do after that uh, we have to call that uh, array right so how we gonna call that using a string string data so here uh, we just calling that string type so which is a written type of string and then we have to get that via string right so we're gonna pass that argument or parameter as uh, data as uh, string type now we got a uh, entire uh, reference of data provider from here to here and i'm gonna simply say string users array okay users array equal to using that parameter which is a data data dot split and uh, we're gonna use this separated by comma so how many data combinations that we get from this for loop we're gonna separate it by comma separated and then we're gonna use this in the system output or you can directly call into your driver dot find element username and send keys and you can pass this there for now i'm just uh, putting them into a syst out so that we can see that so username from json file is
so what is that username so we have to tell user so user array dot zero and we're gonna do the same thing for password right so we got test created we got uh, data provider created let me minimize this so this is the data provider using a json parser and we got a test here so ideally we do in that uh, way that find driver dot find element uh, dot send keys and that send keys you will mention this this line there so instead of that i'm just putting in them into a sysouts so you can directly right click and run as test ng test right this has performed and you can see there is no failures you can see the number of tests run and zeros failures and skips zeros so you can see that the username from the json file is so first combination is username and then we got a password and then another username and then we got another password then another username and then password and we have used that right uh, an array return type so that will return you the combination so combination of username first then separated by comma then password so here we have used right this follow -up. so that will return here and this is the way that we can traverse using our json format using a json simple dependency into our test ng hope this session helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions queries you can post in my comment section i will help you out if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague thank you for watching